Grace Chang stood in the parliament and told us that the zones of special operation has been the significant crime fighting strategy in the history of Jamaica. So how are you going to say I'm not support? Is the Minister of National Security said it? Well, hold on a second. Say, hold he on. says a lot. The Minister hold on a second. Do you, do you, the the question I have for you is simple as this. Do you believe him? Repeat that, Mr. Rattigan. Do you believe him? Put on your mask. Yes, they, they and here's why here's here why here's why you have to be careful. Going. Here's why I'm telling you, you have to be careful about him. He's the same man back in 2010 when WikiLeaks the cables came out, and I have a copy of the cable. I, I couldn't look at it when I was with the FBI because we were prohibited because the information was confidential. So they said, No, you cannot access it. But since I left, I, people have sent it to me. This is the same gentleman that the US government collected intelligence on, and they said that this man is involved with criminal activity. In the western part of Jamaica. Mm -hmm. So you have the evidence. You have the WikiLeaks document. You don't have it. No, you have to send it to me, Mr. Ratigan. Share with me, man, because I want to. I, you, you know, I said I want the papers, you know, that if I ever get in a problem, I can't send it to Isaac and Valerie Nita Robertson because <laughs> they'll have to represent me in the court of law. <laughs> yeah, this is my. And then also keep in mind that this is a man who was at one point in charge of uh coordinating uh, uh crime fighting strategies for the caricom now this is a man who has his constituency as one of the highest murder rates he cannot double fight murders crime in... to this week alone what was that they had double murders in his constituent in, in yeah. his area this week and he alone. can't fight crime in them constituency yeah. can't fight crime in other country but he with zona, fight crime with for, the, for the for the for the for the region he's gonna fight crime for the region and this is the same man who hasn't traveled to the United States to meet with his counterparts. He's left that to the to the to the prime minister, who, for all intents and purposes, is the crime minister. He's the one talking about crime now. And then also the, the police commissioner. Right? The, the, uh, so, and by the way, he has a 93% disapproval rating. That is the minister. So wait, 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 Ratiga. So basically, you say this is a summit where them keep a arena. Would you call it a a, a, a good Thing, or would you call it a failed attempt? Let me tell you, when I, when I, I lived in Saudi Arabia for a number of years, and one of the things when you hear nonsense, they would go like this. Well, what is that? Yes, my fellow Jamaicans, I'm going to, to give the video a like, and we're going to dig deep into some argument because guess what? We have a minister of national security who is shaky, him shaky, him shaky. When you just hear the ex FBI agent, Mr. Ratigan, a while ago, talking about Mr. Chang. Now, Jamaica, I want to ask you a question now. If you are serious about the whole issue of crime, how can you have a minister of national security and the constituency that he represents is a constituency that have the most crime in the country? That is one. How can we have a minister of national security and the FBI? is investigating him and then come out and declare say he is involved in corruption and gun and drug trafficking and all sorts of something. So is Jamaica really serious about crime? Everybody knows that Oris Chang sleepy sleepy and him not going good. Why is it that Andrew Owens failed to get rid of Horace Chang? I want to ask Oris Chang another question. Oris Chang, why is it that you can't travel to the US? Why is it that you cannot travel to the US? We know what you say, you send the Prime Minister, I mean the Crime Minister, and you send the, the Commissioner, and everybody. But you're so shady, me can't understand what really are going on in the country. Think about it. If we want somebody who is a Minister of National Security, we want somebody who have integrity, somebody who is not attached or aligned to any gang, in the sense that they have to be partisan or they have to be biased in their decisions. You understand? And for a long, long time, we've always heard that Horace Strong have a shaky past and he mix up with this gangs and this gang. So how is it that he is still the Minister of National Security in a country where 93% of Jamaicans said they have no confidence in him? I want to type in my comments and tell me why I'm because how is it that this man is still our Minister of National Security and 93% of Jamaica do not trust this man? 
When you hear the ex FBI agent, Mr. Ratty, gonna expose him, say cable come out upon him. Cable is a set of document with information, private information sent between specific government or security agency. And there is currently one out that this man, yes, this man, or is trying to see him stand upside the Andrew and Andrew stretch out him and I stretch out and just stretch out him and carry two of them a body and bench. The two of them are big friends. You see, Andrew has skin him teeth while the whole of Jamaica suffer. So yes, man. But remember, I tell you, no man, Jamaica, we need to take a stand about this because there is no way we can be serious about crime. The next issue, this man can't fix crime in our community. He's in a parliament asleep. He can't fix crime in a Jamaica. He can't travel go to the U.S. The U.S. have him under investigation and then put him as the chief person for crime for the Caribbean. I wonder if we're really serious about tackling this whole crime issue. That is something that we really have to look into because it is a shame and disgrace. This minister is a non-performing minister. Anybody remember the shoot to kill comment we made the other day? And him come out and talk about say him standing by it. While we agree that if criminals challenge the police, the police must challenge them back. You understand? Because of the police... Uh, uh, provide and they execute the rule of law. But in the interim, a lot of situation can be brought down and the, the people do have to die if you understand what I mean. The threat can be dismantled. They can shoot them not them and shoot them not them foot, shoot them somewhere else but you do have to shoot them and kill them. Why is it that you go and tell your police who is known for doing a lot of extrajudicial killing that they must shoot to kill? Unless you say you're wicked. Yeah, wicked and the people in my ball out murder them tired of you too. And I don't know how St. James not get rid of you yet. I don't know how St. James don't get rid of you yet. But the people of Jamaica have given you a failing grade. We give you a F minus. As a matter of fact, I will give you a F, S, F plus. Because you get a F and you feel and you feel and you feel plus tax. It is a shame and disgrace. And I want to ask a question and I want to type and tell me, why is it that Andrew Holes has not gotten rid of Oris Chang as yet? The biggest problem in Jamaica is crime. Crime. And if you're serious about it, you're going to put somebody with proven record, proven track record and proven skills that this person has in the past done some sort of security work and they are able to perform the job. But this man here, yeah, all him do a sleep in a politics. All him do a sleep in a parliament and fame constituency of the most crime. What could I really go so? Tell me now. This is a shame and disgrace. Shame and disgrace and the world Jamaica ball up murder. How can we have a minister of national security? You should have be a, a record model. Your constituent, your constituency should be a model constituency where people can say, no man, this man I really know where I do about security. Cause a theme constituency of the lowest crime. But on the other hand, it is the opposite because few constituents have one of the highest crime rate. Just this week alone, I believe I'm murdered double digits. What a murder you have in a year constituency yet sell you want to leave Jamaica. What about all the guns that are coming into Montego Bay? What about all the drugs that are kind of something? Why well, I may I tell us that Orange Strong? We know why you say we don't pay you in a sir, but we just attack the truth. It don't look good. And if I were you, I would just do the right thing, noble thing, and step aside. You know, sister, you get old, sir. You know, have some grandchildren for go take care of, one little wife for go take care of, or something. Go find something to do, man, and offer your services to the church, man. Or give some of your wealth to the people in a St. James, man. You don't know nothing about crime fighting, I wouldn't really need you. Because when the claims that crime down 20%, but people still are dead. And what if something still are going on, so that... Which you're talking about, it's as if it is null and void because people not seeing the reduction on the door of a crime plan. Me, you know, me showing say on a three, three more, three card man, your prime minister come out and talk and say, people will be able to sleep with their windows and doors open. That's what he came out and said. But then, Oris Shang, the Minister of National Security, where fair back up the statement, come out and talk and say, boy, where the prime minister said, no logical, you know. Kind of this day and age, people can't sleep with them windows and doors open. So, let me ask you a question, Jamaica. How if you sleep with the windows and doors open? When the station, members of police living at the station, or police at the station, and their motto is to serve, protect, and reassure. So, you mean to say that them only serve, protect, and reassure during certain time of the day? 
in the night time, them not serve protect and reassure. We never drive past a station in the night and realize the station door lock up tighter than your door. Station door lock up. Station window lock up. Everybody lock up. It come like say, the, the night shift, them gone up and sleep. So how can we be serious about uh, our crime and violence? No, man. Jamaica me actually a home on the IFC, you know, because people have a tendency to say, oh, we are politicizing and we are jump on this and we are jump on it. We're talking the truth and the truth that many people fail to see. How can we be serious about crime and the person who we have, who is a chief crime fighter, him now going good. And him involved in a corruption, US have him under investigation. Rubbish. And that's why people tire down because every day people say so we're not three card people. Anyway, remember to like the video, leave in the comments and let me know what you think. Like up the video and big up on yourself till next time. Jamaica, a topic. Yeah.